I'm Kevin Belton. Welcome to my New Orleans kitchen. You know, New Orleans, this fish was swimming yesterday. This is a nice piece of red fish that I'm going to show you how we're going to make fish tacos. And to do that, we're going to use the Presto 19 inch tilt and fold electric griddle. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to season our fish. I'm going to take a little bit of my all purpose Creole seasoning and we want to season each side of that fish. Now, in the meantime, our griddle is heating up because we want to get this nice and hot so it creates a nice sear on that fish. So let's turn it over. Remember, when you cook, ingredients have two sides. Make sure you get both sides. Now, so we don't cross contaminate this, just sprinkle on that seasoning. I don't want to dip my hand back in there because I've touched that fish. So this is going to be fine. There we go. Both sides are now coated with seasoning. I have our griddle heating up to 400 degrees. Now I'm going to use redfish because hey, that's what was fresh at the market. You could do this with any nice firm flaky fish. Use the favorite fish that you like. So here, now you could do this a couple of ways. Some folks melt butter, put it on the fish, then put the seasoning on. I like to take a little butter and just put it right on the griddle, spread it out because it just gives an extra flavor. I actually don't need the butter here, but I like it because of the flavor that we're gonna have. Now take your fish and we're just gonna lay that fish right onto our griddle. Oh, look at you. And if you're wondering, hey, what's happened over here? Remember, we're making tacos. Now let's just get a little butter over here for our tortillas. Oh, yes. Some folks use a corn tortilla. I like a flour tortilla for this, okay? The griddle has a really large cooking area and it has a non-stick surface. And it's handy for cooking fish and warming up tortillas at the same time, only using one griddle. And if you notice our fish, our fish is starting to turn white. That means it's starting to cook all the way through. As you see the edges of the fish, that means it's cooking. Now, while our fish is cooking, I want to make, you know, you've heard of ramalad sauce. So since we're making fish tacos, I want to call this a tacalad sauce. So in our bowl, we're going to start with a little bit of oil. We're also going to put in a little splash of vinegar. Of course, a little Creole seasoning, a little bit of salt. And look how easy this is. Let's take our tortillas, just flip them over. They're getting nice golden brown, warming up. Ooh, our fish is almost ready to turn. Let's go ahead and finish our sauce right quick. Little lemon juice for freshness. Little bit of paprika. Paprika gives us a nice depth of flavor to our dish as well as color. The other thing we're gonna put in here is a little Creole mustard. This is a little ground mustard seed that we use a lot in Creole cooking. And you know, a lot of recipes call for onion. Now onions can be fairly strong. Here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a green onion, but while this sits, let's go ahead and turn our fish. See how easy that comes right up? Look at that wonderful, nice, crisp surface on that fish. So just scoop it on up. Turn it over. But this is cooking wonderfully. Let's go ahead, take off our tortillas, and let's just set them on the plate because this is getting close 
to being ready. So let's finish off this ramelade. Little bit of green onion. If you like a stronger flavor, you can use a white onion or a yellow onion. That little bit of green onion gives you an onion flavor with a nice mild bite as of having a strong, strong bite to it. And last, to give it some body, a little mayonnaise. You know, in New Orleans, we love our mayonnaise. And our mayonnaise is gonna give our sauce just the amount of body that it needs. Look at that. And of course, let's get a little taste. Oh, that's really good. That is really, if I do say so myself, that is wonderful. Now we have room to put two more tortillas on. Now what's really nice about this griddle, the cooking level can tilt. It adjusts so when you're cooking meat, such as bacon, all of that fat drains off and drains away so you're left with nice crispy bacon. The other really great thing about this is that the control master heat control regulates the temperature automatically. And finally, once it's all done, it's easy. The legs just fold in and the drip tray locks in place and now you can store it. Easy cleanup, easy storage, easy cooking. Easy peasy, baby. And you know what? This is ready. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Now, what I want to do here, I have some things that I want to start building on our tacos. You can use different flavors that you might particularly like. What I have here, we're going to do a little lettuce. And like I said, use whatever you like. We're going to do a little bit. Remember, we didn't put onions in the sauce, but we're going to put a little bit of onion right here on the taco. How about also a little fresh cilantro sprinkled in? And now let's get the stars of the show off of our griddle. Look at our redfish. We can just take one piece, lay it there, take the other piece, lay it. Come on. Oh, that is so pretty. So pretty. I don't know how many of you all like avocados. I love avocados. Let's do a little avocado right on top. And you know, it doesn't matter. It won't stay exactly right on top, but as long as it's in there, it's going to get into the belly. Drizzle a little bit of our tacolod sauce since we're making fish tacos. But can you see the beautiful color our fish has? That nice brown crisp fish on the outside with that moist middle thanks to our griddle. So here we have my version of New Orleans style fish tacos with the help of the Presto Griddle.